Hello everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Abimbola. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to cut and sew a basic fitted pencil dress, just exactly what we have on the screen. This tutorial is beginners friendly and here are the following measurements that will be needed for the cutting and the sewing process. Now let's get started. So for this particular dress, I made use of crepe fabric. And as usual, we'll be needing all basic instruments needed for the cutting and the sewing of our dress. We have the tape rule, the scissors, the curved ruler, the straight ruler, and our chalk. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I did was to go ahead and fold my crepe fabric. Now for the folding, what you need to put into consideration is, is the biggest part of the measurement you are working with. Now take for instance the waist, the bust and the hip I'm working with. Bust 42, waist 36 and hip 47. So the hip happens to be the biggest measurement in this case. So what I would do is to divide my hip into four and this will give me 11.75. Then I'll go ahead and add my extra two inches for my allowance. So which makes a total of 13.75. So for the folding, the width will act to be 13.75. So this is what exactly I'm measuring here. I've taken my 13.75 and I'm trying to confirm. So the next thing is to get the length of the dress. The length I'm working with is length 42. So what I did was to measure 42 and also add up extra 2 inches for my folding at the end of the dress. So in total, I have 44 for the length and I have a width of 37 of 13.75 rather so what i'll do next is to cut out my width and the length of my dress so this will help me in getting the calculation for how to fold my fabric so i'll go ahead now and cut out what i have now that my fabric is folded into two the next thing i'll do is to take half inch measurements from the top so from the top i'll go ahead and mark my half inch and then I will rule my straight line like so. So this particular line will serve as our starting point for this dress. So I'm taking all other measurements starting from this top line. So the first um, line which I will take is the chest line. And for this dress, the chest line is 9.5 inches. To get your chest line, all you need to do is to divide your bust by six, plus 1 inch for the shoulder slope and 1.5 e inches for the ease. So the next line I marked is the half length. For this dress, the half length is 17. And from my half length, I'll go down by 8 inches and mark my hip line. So all the three points are marked out. The next thing I'll do is to rule out those points with my straight ruler. So I have the chest line, the waist line, and also the hip line. Remember that we already have the um, length of the gown also cut out. So I have the length also there. So now the next thing we are going to do is, is our shoulder measurement. So for the draft, the shoulder I'm working with is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8 plus half inch for the um, joining of the sleeve. So we have uh, 8.5 in total. So I'll also go to my chest line and mark my 8.5. So I'll connect the two points together with my straight ruler. So the next thing now is to take our neck measurement. In this case, my neck width is 3.5 and my neck depth is 3.5. For an other, the basic neckline is 3 by 3. But this does not work for everybody. So to get your own perfect neckline measurement, all you need to do is to divide your um, bust by 12 inches. So for me, my bust is 42 divided by 12 will give me 3.5. And that's why you find me using 3.5 by 3.5 So with this, you have a perfect neckline for your dress. So the next thing I'll do now is to take my shoulder slope. And for my shoulder slope, I'll come down from my top line by one inch and then connect the one inch back to my neck width measurement with my straight ruler. So I'll connect the two points together 
like so and I have my shoulder slope so after this the next thing I'll do is to get my mid arm hole now that I have marked the mid arm hole I'll go in at that point by 0 0.5 inches that's half an inch I'll go in by half an inch and then on my um chest line i'll take my bust measurement divided by two which is 10.5 and then connect my bust to the mid armhole and also from the mid armhole i'll connect it back to my shoulder slope so i'll connect the three points just like so now we are done shaping our armhole. The next thing to do now is to take my waist measurement divided by 4. So the waist divided by 4 is marked. And then I'll also add 1 inch for our dart allowance. So now we move to the hip line. So on the hip line, I'll take my hip measurement divided by 4 and then mark it. So now we have the three points, the bust the waist and the hip marked so the same measurement i took here i'll go ahead and take the same measurements at the m of the skirt that's how the gown length so i'll mark it so i'll connect my points together now so i'll go ahead and connect my bust to my waist like so and also connect my waist to my hip with a slight curve not too curvy so i'll go ahead and connect the two points together lastly i'll connect my hip to the m of the dress with my straight ruler so i'll connect both points together now for my dart on my half length i'll take my nipple to nipple measurement so i'll go ahead and mark my nipple to nipple measurement on my half length and i also mark the same measurement on on my chest line and also mark the same measurements on my hip line i will then connect the three points together with my ruler now for my chest line i'll come down by 1.5 inches yes i'll come down by 1.5 inches on the line and then from my hip line i'll go up by two inches from my hip line, I'll go up by 2 inches from my hip line. So I'll mark it also at that point. So next, for my dart intake, I'll go ahead and take half inch on the right and half inch on the left, making a total of 1 inch for the dart. So I'll connect my dart um, to the upper part, that's the 1.5 inches we came down at the chest line, and also go ahead to connect my dart to the lower part, that's the two inches above the hip line. So once this is done, we have um, created our dart. So after this, the next thing to do is, the next thing to do is to shape our dress. So, so far what we have drafted is a straight dress. Yes, you notice that um, the same measurement we have on the hip is what we have at the M of the dress. So to shape our dress, that is to make it a pencil dress, all we need to do now is to take um, the waist measurements. Go ahead and measure what you have on the waist. So your exact waist measurement is what you mark at the hem of the dress. Now, your dart allowance will not be included in this. Your exact waist measurement is what you will use at the hem of the dress. And then you connect that point back to the hip line. So with this, we have been able to um, shape our pencil dress. And um, if you want a straight dress, feel free to use the first line we drew. And if you want a pencil dress, go ahead and use the other line that we um, shaped out. So the next thing I did was to add up my side seam allowance. So... On the um, chest line, I added 1.5. On the waist, I added 1.5. On the hip, I also added 1.5. And at the hem of the dress, I added 1.5. So I'll go ahead now and connect all the um, seam allowance together. Now that we are done connecting our side seams together, the next thing to do now is to also um, mark our allowance for the shoulder joining. Remember that um, the top line, we came down by half an inch. This is the reason why the half an inch 
is necessary. So I went ahead to mark half inch at the um, shoulder line and then I connected it with my straight ruler. So we have all the seam allowances added to the side, to the shoulder and also at the armhole region. So I'll go ahead now and cut out the front pattern. So this is what we have for the front. So to cut the back, you also need to fold your fabric into two using um, the measurement that was used for the front pattern. You remember that for the front, I used 13.75. For the back, we are going to add an extra two inches to the 13.75. That is for the zipper allowance. So this was how I cut out the the fabric needed for the back so i went ahead also to mark two inches from the top to the um m of the fabric and then i'll connect the two inches with a straight line so these two inches marked out will serve as a zipper allowance once the zipper allowance is marked place your front pattern on your fabric for the back ensure that the center front matches up with the straight line that you marked from the top to the M and then you pin them down so that you don't have any issue. Now for the back, I'll also mark my half an inch from the top and then I'll connect the straight line to the um, neck width for the front. So I'll connect it like so. So the next thing now is to take my back neck depth. So in this case, I am using two inches for the neck depth. The standard is one inch, but I am actually making the back neckline a bit deeper. So that is why I use two inches. So feel free to use whatever you want to use. So I'm maintaining the same 3.5 inches neck width. The same that was used for the front was used for the back. So now I'll go ahead to cut out the back neckline and then I'll also cut out the shoulder, the armhole and the side seam. Just the same pattern we have for the front will be repeated on the back. The only difference for the back is the zipper allowance that was added and also the neck um, depth for the back. That's the only difference between the front and the back. So I'll go ahead now to cut out um, the back and then I will show you what it looks like. I also went ahead to slash open um, the zipper part for the center back. So I'll cut through from the top to the end of the dress and this is what our front and our back looks like. So for this dress I won't be making use of a lining. What I will be using is a facing for the dress. So this is my piece. I'm trying to manage my fabric here. So this is my piece and then I will go ahead now and place this underneath my back pattern. Yeah, I'll place it like so. I'll place it and um, cut out exactly what I have for the back on that facing fabric. So I'll follow through the neckline and then the shoulder. So this is what the facing for the back looks like exactly what we have for the back just the um shoulder is about three inches wide i've also gone ahead to cut the facing for the front and this is what we have so the next thing i did was to overlock my fabric the facing and every piece of this dress so now for the sewing we are starting with the front and this is it so the first thing we need to do is to hold our darts and to do this, I went ahead to press my fabric, the center front part, and also the dart line. So opening it up, you'll find out that we have a straight line on both sides, which is the dart line. So, and also we have the center front line. So this will help me, it will serve as a guide when sewing my darts. So as a beginner, if you find it very difficult in holding your darts, you can try out this method. Just um, press your dart lines and then um, when you get to the machine, fold that line into two and follow 
the dart pattern which you already drew on the fabric so this is exactly what i'll be doing and then when i hold my dart i'll bring back the fabric to show you what it looks like so now before we go ahead to sew up our dart let me um, show you how you can transfer this dart to the other side of your fabric so at the 1.5 inches we came down at the chest line just in insert your pin like so also insert a pin at the two inches we came up at the hip line also on the dart legs you need to insert a pin but then let me show you what you need to do flip your fabric over to like so and then mark this point on the other side of the fabric so you see that your pin is actually showing on the other side of the fabric so and that's the um points we marked with the chalk i'll do the same at the other side that's the hip area where we came up by two inches so i've marked the two points together like so i also went ahead to insert my pin on the two dark legs that we have and you see it's um, showing on the other side so i'll go ahead and mark the two points together so i have the dark legs marked and i also have my um 1.5 inch we came down at the chest line and also the two inches at the um hip line where we came up by so now i will now connect these points together once i'm done connecting i will go ahead and follow through the straight line that we ironed on the fabric i'll fold it on that straight line and then i'll follow through this my dart that we shaped out for both sides and then I'll sew down my darts for the front dress. After sewing down my darts, this is what we have. You can see the front dart has been sewn, the right and the left side. So the next thing is to sew our facing for the front. So what I'll do is to go ahead and pin down, pin down my facing for the front. Now the facing was placed on the right side of my fabric i place the facing on the right side and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and run my stitch round the neckline half an inch from one end to the other end following through like so half an inch after sewing my front facing this is what i have i went ahead to also give it a good press and then this is what it looks like from the front so this same process will be repeated for the back i'll go ahead and hold my dart for the back and also use my back facing to turn the neckline for the back and then i'll show us what next to do so after turning my back um with the facing this is what i have so next i will hold down my zipper allowance so as a beginner ensure you mark you take your exact allowance um, mark what you actually um, gave for that part and then mark it through from the top to the hem of the gown so i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew that part after sewing my um, zipper allowance this is what it looks like i also went ahead to press the zipper parts i pressed it open so this is what we have so now i placed my back pattern my fabric facing up that's the right side facing up and then i'll place my front also on it and then i'll go ahead to pin them down on the shoulder parts i'll pin it down and also pin down the front and the back together by the side so i'll take to the sewing machine and join both together at the shoulder and also by the side using the exact same allowance added when drafting i also go ahead to turn the m of the dress and this is what we have after joining the shoulder and the side seams together so the next thing i will do is to open up my center back that's the zipper area and add up my zipper i also fix my sleeve and turn my um dress at the hem and this is our final result thank you so much for taking your time to watch today's tutorial i'll see you in my next video bye